Colonel Myers here again. Next drill we're going to talk about is the comma cut drill. The comma cut drill has different iterations or levels or variations, however you want to look at it. But the very basic idea is I pick a spot on the wall in front of me at basically my face level and I'm going to do a thrust that stops at that point, turns and comes back to my shoulder. Then I do a backhand thrust to the exact same point, come back to my shoulder. So it comes back and forth. So I'm, I'm drawing a V in the air in front of me. If you were looking down on it, right? I go out to that point and I come back. So if Bob here was my point of reference, say I'm aiming at Bob's chin, I'm coming out at shoulder level and coming back to this shoulder. And I'm keeping it at my shoulder line. So if I'm facing the camera, this is the basic comma cut drill. So that's what you want to work over and over to make sure you've got this structure where you're, you're coming to a central point and then you're coming back to the shoulder. I'm coming to the central point, I'm coming back to the shoulder. And I'm staying on this line. I'm not, I'm not being lazy and dropping my arm. It's staying at shoulder level. That's important. This is the basic drill. Okay. Now once you've done multiple iterations of that drill and you're starting to get it into muscle memory, you add the snap, you add the comma portion. So I come out, now I do a twist and a snap with my wrist and I come back. So I come back and I snap, 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 snap. So I don't know if you can see from this camera angle the point, instead of just pausing and coming straight back, I snap with my wrist and it makes a comma. It comes back. So it's just like I was writing on paper and I made a comma. That's the shape, the comma cut, like that. Same thing in the backhand angle. Here, I cheat point and then it's a cut out like this and it comes back. So this is the actual comma cut drill once you've learned that basic. Now here, I do a cut and I come back. Cut and come back, cut and come back. So on this angle, I achieve point and then I'm cutting as I come back. I achieve point and then I'm cutting as I come back. So, why are we doing this? One thing this is teaching you is that when I do a thrust, I'm not trying to sink this thing to clear the hilt. If I do a thrust and I go up to here or further, I'm not getting that knife back. And I might have to keep fighting. And just because I've thrusted this guy, he's maybe still got a knife in his other hand and he's not necessarily out of the fight. So. When I thrust, I only need to penetrate about three inches, about that far. If you penetrate three inches anywhere, you're hitting a major organ. That's all you need to go, three inches. So what this is training me to do is to achieve point penetration and then cut out before I jam it all the way through the hilt. I'm learning to kind of withdraw immediately after my, my thrust. So this makes a horrendous wound channel, so it's not just I stab the guy and I pull it straight back and the wound seals again. This is, I stab the guy and now I'm cutting out as I withdraw the knife. So it's a thrust and then this gouging cut on the way out. Horrible wound. So it'd be achieving point and then I'm pulling out, cutting out, cutting out, cutting out, cutting out, cutting out. So if I achieve point, I penetrate it as I cut out, it's going to make this cut like that. It's going to lame open. And that's what you're learning to do with this little comma cut, this motion, this snap. It's also sometimes called a carving cut for obvious reasons. Now, there's other meaning here too. Good drills are ones that have multiple applications and multiple levels, so to speak. I could have also been throwing my thrust up and it gets blocked. And immediate, immediately when it gets blocked, I'm cutting through and coming back on the other side. So now that comma becomes, I've stopped and I'm cutting and slicing all the way around his forearm as I withdraw. And that's why it's important to keep it at shoulder level because if I drop, I don't get near the cut that I get when I draw through and cling to my shoulder. And you'll see this when I show it with my partner. So I'm stopped and I come through and I thrust. So to start with, you just practice it this way. 
put it up there, cut. Put it up there, cut. Put it up there, cut. And then you add the thrust at the end. Put it up there, cut thrust. And on the back end angle, same thing. I throw it up here, I get stopped, and immediately when it gets stopped, I cut through and come to the other side. So I throw it up, cut, thrust. Basic. And then I add the thrust. So I could have been meaning to thrust him and I get stopped, or I could have thrown it up there as a bait. I throw it up there to get him to lift his arm, and the minute he lifts his arm, I cut his arm and I thrust on the other side. Pop. It's very, very fast. So another way to practice this, these two sides, is I thrust and I hit my own arm. And you can see how I hit and I can bounce off of that. What I'm training myself to do, if you watch the twirl video, the same idea, the minute I hit resistance, I cut through. The minute I hit resistance, I cut through. Or this way. Do it this way. So I'm using, I hit resistance and I bounce off of that and cut through. Straight on. Here's the, I bait where I meant to thrust. I'm stopped. I cut through, come to the other side. Or from here. I here, I cut through, come to the other side. And then I add this component of resistance. Or this way. Alright, so comma cut drill to review the basic. Get down the angles. And then when I add the twist, the actual comma cut. And then when I practice it as, as if I'm blocked and I'm going to the other side, I do this a little slower, a little wider, so I can come in tight. Or this way. And then I add resistance just to build that reflex. Okay, and that's the comma cut drill. All right, the application for the comma cut drill. We talked about the simple portion. It's just the idea that I've thrusted, I've hit, and I've cut out. I don't want to thrust and be down here and my blade be stuck, so I'm only penetrating about that feet and then I cut out. Same way I'm cutting this way. Maybe I hit his arm and I cut out. Meantime I hit, I'm cutting out. That's where that comma cut drill shines. But it's also the idea that if I've thrusted and he's managed to put his arm up and he gives me an obstacle, I cut through it and I come right back around the other side. So he throws his arm up, boom. I just keep right on coming. So maybe maybe I meant to thrust him and he, and he stopped me, or maybe I meant it as a bait. And so I throw it up there to get him to raise his arm, and the minute he raises his arm, I go in, right? He raises his arm, boom, boom. And it'd be the same thing on the backhand angle, right? He, throw, he, can oh. throw, he throws the other hand up. It's the same way he stops me, I cut across, and I'm in, right? It's thrust and I hit. Or I, I use it as a bait. Bam! Right? That cross and I've got it. He could be cross pairing with this hand, right? Maybe we're at an angle, his knife's in his right hand, and so he does a cross parry this way, right? Doesn't matter, I still cut and I get him on this side, right? He cross parries, I still cut and come in. He cross parries, the idea is, it's like a spiral cut. I'm here, and as I withdraw, I'm cutting all the way around. 
That's why in the basic drill, it's important to know those lines and go shoulder to shoulder. Because if I can do that, that gives me this carving cut that comes all the way around his arm. Same thing on this side. Right? He's throwing his arm up. He stopped me. Now, this carving cut comes all the way around his arm and into the other side. That's why that line is important. 